Hi, it's Carrie. Today's video is meant for viewers aged 13 and over. There's some longer words and a bit more technical information. My new lion and tiger are going to cause some trouble at the end. An interesting shark fact. Sharks have a nictating membrane, which is like an inner eyelid, which protects their eyes when they are struggling with prey that might try and damage their eyes. The hammerhead shark. Its head or cephalofoil has many functions including sensory reception, manoeuvring and prey manipulation. They are solitary hunters at night. The giant Pacific octopus is a large marine cephalopod belonging to the genus Enteroctopus. It is best adapted to cold oxygen rich water. The weedy sea dragon. Sea dragons have a long dorsal fin along the back and small pectoral fins on either side of the neck which provide balance. The moray eel are opportunistic carnivorous predators. Their large teeth are used to tear flesh or grasp slippery prey items. The seahorse features segmented bony armour, an upright posture and a curled prehensile tail. They lack the caudal fin typical of fish. Acarotus is a genus of wrasses collectively known as blue gropers. They are found in the coastal waters of southern Australia and are distinguished by the bright blue colouring of the adult males. They have pegged teeth, heavy scales, large tails and thick lips. The majority of puffer fish species are toxic and some are among the most poisonous vertebrates in the world. They are morphologically similar to the closely related porcupine fish. Uranosaurus is an extinct genus of ichthyosaur. One distinct feature that set it apart from the ichthyosaurs was that the upper jaw was twice the length of the lower jaw and covered with up and downwards pointing teeth. The hermit crab has a long spirally curved abdomen which is soft unlike other crabs. Their abdomen is protected from predators by a salvaged empty seashell. The bowhead whale is the only baleen whale endemic to the Arctic and subarctic waters. They are named after its characteristic massive triangular skull which is used to break through Arctic ice. Sally Lightfoot Crab has five pairs of legs, the front two bearing small blocky symmetrical chele. The other legs are broad and flat with only the tips touching the substrate. The crab's round flat carapace is slightly longer than 8 centimetres or 3.1 inches. The marbled stingray. They are generally not aggressive, but it's been known to be responsible for at least one human fatality, the infamous Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. The reef squid is recognised by their large rounded fins that extend along the entire length of their mantles. The grey whale is covered by characteristic grey-white patterns. These are scars left by parasites which drop off in its cold feeding grounds. And here in the background is a humpback. The koi is a decorative coloured amur carp. The bamboo shark. They have elongated cylindrical bodies with short barbels and large spiracles. The leopard seal is the second largest species of seal in the Antarctic. Its only natural predator is the killer whale. It feeds on a wide range of prey, including cephalopods, other pinnipeds, krill, birds and fish. King crabs are a taxon of crab-like 
decapod crustaceans, chiefly found in cold seas. Because of their large size and the taste of their meat, many species are widely caught and sold as food. The blue crab has sapphire tinted claws. Its shell or carapace is usually a mottled brownish colour. Sepia palma is the Australian giant cuttlefish. It is the world's largest cuttlefish species, growing to 50 centimetres or 20 inches in mantle length. The largemouth bass is a carnivorous freshwater game fish. The upper jaw or maxilla extends beyond the rear margin of the eye socket. The blue spotted stingray. On the rising tide, large schools often forage over shallow sandy areas. They live in seagrass habitats and rubble mudflats, feeding on invertebrates, including mollusks, polychaete worms, crabs and shrimps. Minke whales are a type of rockle whale and are the smallest and most abundant of the baleen whales. Their long slender bodies are black to dark grey on top and white on the underside. The clawed lobster is an invertebrate with a hard protective exoskeleton. Like most anthropods, lobsters must molt to grow, which leaves them vulnerable. The basking shark is the second largest living shark and one of three plankton eating shark species, along with the whale shark and megamouth shark. The bull shark can thrive in both salt and fresh water and can travel far up rivers. It's its name from the shark's stocky shape, broad flat snout and aggressive unpredictable behaviour. The bull shark's caudal fin is longer and lower than that of the larger sharks and it has a small snout and lacks an interdorsal ridge. Plesiosaurus is an extinct marine reptile. Compared to other plesiosaur genera, Plesiosaurus has a smaller head. The blue whale calf. During its first seven months, it drinks approximately 380 litres or 100 gallons of milk every day. The sawfish has a long, narrow, flattened rostrum lined with sharp, transverse teeth, much like a saw. Dunkelosteus is an extinct genus of Athrodea placoderm fish. It had a two-part bony, armoured exterior, which may have made it relatively slow, but a powerful swimmer. Another smaller blue-spotted ray. The giant squid can grow to a tremendous size due to deep sea gigantism. Recent estimates put the maximum size at 13 metres or 43 feet for females. The males are slightly less. The giant squid has a mantle or torso, eight arms and two longer tentacles. This is the animal planet Mega Shark. This can refer to Megalodon or the Great White Shark. The Schleich monster fish looks very dangerous. It's not a real fish, but I like how it's got arms where it can grab its prey as well as sharp teeth. And there's a piranha swimming in the background. The blue whale is the largest animal known to have ever existed. The baleen plates in its mouth are about one meter or 3.3 feet long. The extinct Megalodon is one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived. The Megalodon's teeth were thick and robust, built for grabbing prey and breaking bones. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark. The goblin shark has a distinctive long and flat snout resembling a sword blade. The proportional length of the snout decreases with age. The eyes are small and lack protective membranes. Behind the eyes 
as spiracles. The largemouth is parabolic in shape. And here's another bowhead whale. The bowhead has the largest mouth of any animal, representing almost one third of the length of the body. The longest baleen plates with a maximum length of 4 metres or 13 feet. The killer whale's teeth are very strong and its jaws exert a powerful grip. The upper teeth fall into the gaps between the lower teeth when the mouth is closed. The salmon. They are anadromous, which means they hatch in fresh water, migrate to the ocean, then return to fresh water to reproduce. The great white shark has no known natural predators other than on very rare occasions the killer whale. It is a species of large mackerel shark. Another killer whale or orca. Killer whales are apex predators. They are highly social and live in family groups called pods. Jaws the great white shark by Funko. In the movie, the great white shark was depicted as a ferocious man-eater. Well, I've decided that's enough sea animals today. I'm going to save this for another video. And here comes trouble.